Well, this video is going to be about some things that you should consider getting if you're planning to do Uber Eats or any other type of um, delivery of food to people. To get started, if you're going to be delivering food, you're going to want to um, make sure that you um, invest in a couple of different size insulation bags because of the fact that some of these restaurants they give you these weirdly odd shaped bags or the the stuff that the food is in is just not going to fit certain bags and it's really important that if it's a hot food you try to get it to the customer as soon as possible hot if it's a cold food it needs to be in a insulated bag and make sure it's cold like that as well and when it comes to insulated bags there is something I will tell you can help you a little bit with keeping the food hot if you are in a cold environment um, and that is a portable hair dryer they're like a 12 volt portable hair dryer you can buy those things on eBay they're basically just a cigarette lighter uh, hair dryer that you plug into your cars cigarette lighter if your car still has a cigarette lighter you might be one of the people that has an expensive car that doesn't even have a cigarette lighter anymore but that is a good thing to use I would just caution you that the temperature for those things are are not really even so you could potentially start a fire in your car and or damage the customers food by letting it run too long so my advice is is you let it run for maybe a minute you know and turn it off and make sure the bag is closed you know so that only that there's a small opening so that it stays warm inside of the insulation bag and um you just leave the setting alone normally what i do is i put a portable hair dryer on the bottom put the bag on top of it and then when i'm at a traffic light and i have a minute i just plug in the cigarette lighter or the, the portable blow dryer into my cigarette lighter port and then let it run roughly until the traffic light changes and then unplug it and drive and do that again until I am close enough to the customer's house and if I have enough time I'll try to run it just before I'm getting to make the delivery obviously try not to leave blow dryer in the bag so that you take it and you show it to the customer because it's a little weird to show them a, a portable blow dryer in in your delivery bag and stuff you know what I mean so yeah can look a little weird you know but that's a good thing to have portable blow dryer another type of thing some things you should consider getting is pepper spray or mace because of the fact that you don't know what could possibly happen you know for some reason self-defense put it that way just check your local law and local state laws and see if you're allowed to have possession of that stuff with you otherwise you might be SOL um, and another thing you should consider is a dash cam god forbid you are on the road and some idiot pulls out in front of you while you are driving and you go drive right into his car or her car at like 40 miles an hour and total your car even though your light was green and their light was red or they blew the stop sign when you were go it was your turn to go because you're going to need that as evidence and there's no denying when you've got it on camera that they basically 
were at fault for it. Um, and another thing to consider too before I end this video is probably buying a body camera. A body camera can be helpful for a lot of reasons, man. And I won't go into a whole rant on them, but I will tell you that you just never know when it will come in handy for you. Obviously, you may not want to be recording customers and stuff because even though in some states there's no reason for expectation of privacy, some people just won't like to be recorded and stuff. So you have to kind of respect their right. It is their house and stuff. But you never know. You could accidentally get hurt on a property delivering a delivery like I did. I didn't have no camera though. So I couldn't sue this apartment complex that didn't have lighted stairwells. But I roughed my knee up pretty good, man, because I just quickly tell you that I was delivering Burger King to a apartment complex that didn't have lighted stairwells. So I didn't even see basically where the stairs started at. So um, my right boot ended up kicking the bottom of the staircase and then I lost balance and ended up going left knee first into like the front edge of a stair case you know like the front part of the stair that sticks out when you are walking up them and basically bruised my knee pretty bad I mean it's not black and blue but it swelled up and it was pretty bad that I had some killer pain in fact I thought it was broke because I hadn't had that kind of pain since I had my jaw broke so I figured it was broke but I took one for the uber team and even though I got injured. I still had another order that I had to deliver. So I basically had to climb four flights of stairs because there was no elevator at this other comp apartment complex that I had to deliver my last order to before I could go to the emergency room. Unfortunately, I got lost in that apartment complex and I ended up not getting really a tip at all, sadly. Feels bad, man. And, uh, to make matters worse, I almost dropped that order as I was trying to lock my car. So, it literally, the one cup flipped out of my hand, and luckily I caught it before it hit, but it still flipped a little bit. So, some of the, um, I guess it was ice cream or something was on the top of the lid and all, and it was just not a good night on Friday, so... Yeah, it's just stuff like that you might want to consider because you never know. You could go to deliver something and somebody's dog could be loose and you could get literally tore up by their dog. Unless there are witnesses around, you're probably not going to have any proof. So just something to consider having, you know, pepper spray, a body camera, a dash cam, insulated bags, you know, to for delivering the food and a portable hair dryer. Um will help you a lot with you know making deliveries and stuff like that but uh anyways that's it if you have any questions for me feel free to leave them in the comments below feel free to subscribe to this youtube channel if you like and i will see you in the next video